three in four Palestinians support Hamas's massacre of October 7th. 98% of the respondents said October 7th slaughter made them feel prouder of their identity as Palestinians. Say what? But, but, but I thought the majority of Palestinians are peaceful people, you say. It's only those nasty terrorist Hamas who are bad. A recent poll done by the Arab World for Research and Development found that 74% supported the Hamas atrocities of October 7th. That 74% in favor of murdering, raping, kidnapping, mutilating, and burning Jews, and only 12% against. 77.7% .7 want to destroy Israel and replace it with a Palestinian state. Only 17% support the two-state solution. They're not complaining and crying for a ceasefire because they don't want the war, but because they're losing the war. They still want the war. They just want to be winning it. Hamas is more popular in the West Bank, 88% approval rating, than it is in Gaza, 59% approval rating. The Al-Aqsa Brigade, the military part of Hamas, scores big in the West Bank, 86% approval and 69% in Gaza. Those are numbers Biden would kill for. And don't mistake the 9 out of 10 in the West Bank and 7 out of 10 in Gaza as a lack of enthusiasm for Islamic terrorism. Oh no, the Al-Qassam Brigades, the direct terror arm of Hamas, is at 95% approval in the West Bank and 78% in Gaza. Islamic Jihad scores 93% in the West Bank and 72% in Gaza. The Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigade is at 88% in the West Bank and at 70% in Gaza. So now that we know who the Palestinians like, let's see who don't they like. Everyone. 98% of Palestinians in the West Bank hate America, as do 96.8% of those in Gaza. That's still better than the United Kingdom, which is hated by 100% of Palestinians. They actually hate America and the United Kingdom more than Israel, which is only at 97.3%. Ingratitude is one of the consistent Palestinian characteristics. 92% don't like the European Union, 88% don't like the United Nations, and 69% manage to be against the Red Cross. Russia, which continues to back them, gets some of the best numbers. Only 57% don't like Russia, 60% don't like China. Even more ungrateful, 85% don't like Western media, even though they are pretty much the Palestinian propaganda arm. If you give them free food, they will really hate you. If you give them free rockets, they will hate you a little less. The only thing they like is kill people and then kill some more. This isn't a culture or a country. It's a xenophobic death cult that hates the entire world. We refuse to come to terms with the fact that some people are bad, no matter what horrors they commit. We're certain that it's only a tiny, itsy-bitsy minority of extremists who have misunderstood Islam and are surely not representative of the vast majority of peace-loving people who want the same thing we want and just haven't been given the opportunity. We don't really believe in evil. Even when we come face to face with it, we make excuses for it. And evil is then able to manipulate us, to play on our sympathies when it has none for us. You see, there is one piece of good news from that poll. 90% of Palestinians would like a ceasefire in the war that 77.7% .7 of them would like to see conclude with the destruction of Israel. How stupid would anyone have to be to give it to them?